The Portland Trail Blazers general manager Joe Cronin dropped a statement via his socials this week to try to comfort some Blazers fans that I'm sure are starting to get worried that their star guard Damian Lillard days in Oregon may be numbered. Joe said he had great dialogue with Dame and his agent Aaron Goodwin and that the plan is for Portland to continue to try to build a contender around Dame Dalla. So what is that? Pretty much another meeting of nothing as we reach another offseason in which it seems like there is no motion on a Damian Lillard trade. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not so sure we see Dame get moved this offseason. I don't know. My, I think right now I'm at 35% Dame gets traded. 65% he stays in Portland at least to the deadline next year. I don't think Portland feels the pressure to trade Dame the way it feels from the media. The media is just looking for headlines. Let's be honest. We're just sharks in the water looking for the biggest name to follow this offseason. The Bradley Bill trade happened on Father's Day. Obviously, a lot sooner than a lot of us expected. Now we're just looking for what else is out there to kind of follow and lead as the biggest story going into free agency. If I'm, I'm just being honest about it. And Damian Lillard has been that oftentimes over the last three, four years. I don't know if that's the same way the Blazers franchise feel, though. I think they're cool. They're comfortable with paying Dame a lot of money and putting what they can around him. Now, I'll be the first to admit that Portland hasn't put a phenomenal squad around Dame, but I really want people to stop acting like the Blazers haven't given Lily Lillard any help at all. I just find it hard to believe. As a matter of fact, I'll break it down to you. Jeremy Grant got off to a phenomenal start last year. Can I not say it's a little bit on Dame to keep his stars and, or keep his young up and coming stars motivated to play hard? I'm not saying it's all on him, but I'm saying Dan, Jeremy Grant gave the Blazers a really good start last year. How about CJ McCollum no longer in Portland? You know, with Zion in the mix, CJ was going to make an all-star game. It, he was going to make, like, CJ played well for, like, a month after Zion went down. I would say through, like, February, McCollum was on a tear. And I'm bringing that up to say he was a long-time Blazer. So I can't act like there hasn't been any talent around Dame. I mean, Anthony Simons is capable of going for 30 any given night in the league. The problem is, is the Blazers' timeline is, and Dame's timeline are not meshing right now. They're trying to put young, talented pieces around Dame. Typically, what we see in the NBA is that you need a 29, 30-year-old, a 31, 32, 33. Those are typically the ages where we see stars win rings in this league. So I, for that, I understand. I do understand Dame's perspective, but I just wanted to clear it up. I'm not one of those people that believe the Blazers have completely failed Dame. They ain't put a dream team around them. They have not completely failed Dame. Some of this got to go on Lillard's shoulders, not just on the court, but how this is being handled off the court. There does become a point where I ask myself, is Damian Lillard's loyalty starting to look selfish? To me, it's in the Portland Trailblazers' best interest to start it over. Either you go all in on Young, you, know, you go all in on old trying to win a championship. What did the Golden State Warriors just do? They just traded Jordan Poole for a 38-year-old Chris Paul. Some people look at that as a bad trade. I'm not one of those people, but a lot of people do. I will tell you this. At least we know for Golden State next year, there's no in-between. They are all in on a championship, period. It's the only reason why you make a trade like that. There's more promise in Jordan Poole for the next 10 years then there is in Chris Paul and Klay Thompson combined. Those dudes are legends of the sport, but their best days are behind them. Jordan Poole's best days seem to be in front of them. The Blazers are kind of stuck in what the Warriors have been stuck in over the last few years. The only difference is Steph Curry's better than Dame, and I love Dame, but Steph's better. And they got a, a Draymond Green. One day, 15, 20 years from now, you will Google Damian Lillard because he's a spectacular Hall of Famer first ballot. No questions. When you pull up Damian Lillard Portland Trailblazers, it may say Damian Lillard got traded. It may say Damian Lillard was traded. But it will never say Damian Lillard demanded a trade from the Portland Trailblazers. He has 
clearly let it be known that he's trying to put it out in the atmosphere, playing Welcome to Miami on, on Instagram Live. Like he don't got enough money to tell the DJ what the hell to play in Paris. He's clearly on podcast saying he would like to play with Bam in Miami or, uh, or Bridges in Brooklyn if he ever got traded. He then goes to games in Miami and Brooklyn in the playoffs. He wants to be traded, I believe, but doesn't want to say Dame demanded. I think that's his legacy. His last hurrah as a loyal Portland Trailblazer will be, I never demanded out of this organization. If they move on from me, then so be it. I'm never going to demand a trade out. Welcome to NBA offseason 2023. You're in great hands with Hoops Pharaoh. There's no network behind me. There's no budget behind me. Just straight grind and hoops talk. If you don't want to miss a beat this offseason from trades, free agent signings, and draft talk, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's run these numbers up. It's free 99 to show me that you support the grind. Let's go.